Hey there everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood minifigure here, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we are looking at the LEGO Ninjago Zane's Titan Mech Battle set. The set serial number is 71738. It has 840 pieces, it came out in 2021, and it currently retails for $60. Now let's take a look at our minifigures here. First up we have a Soul Archer as one of the villains. There's the back of him. There's a better look at the head and the back print without the without the mask on. And there's a better look at the front torso and his front face. He's got a pretty cool face there, the translucent like skeleton skull face. That looks nice. Next up we have Zane, the title character of the set. Um, and he looks pretty nice here. His his uniform looks similar to that of his uniform in Season 6. There's a look at his face without the mask. There's the backside with just a single sword in the sword holder area. And there's a better look at the back torso without the... Uh, Without, without the sword holder there. Oh yeah. Also, you can swap out his mask for his hairpiece. So, so that's cool. Now we have Ghoultar, the main villain of the set here. He's got his cool double scythe. So there, there's a look at the front of him. He has the same torso as the uh, as the solo um, archer. And he also has the Yep, he's got the same face as well. Um, I would have liked it if he had, like, a different face because he's a different villain. He's actually a named villain. But, eh, th this is um, all, all, all right, I guess. Now finally, because this is one of the 10 anniversary sets, we have Golden J here. And that's, that's his face without the mask, we've all seen it. There's a secondary face on the back side. Of course he's got the two double, or he's got the double sword holder here with the two golden swords. Then there's a better look at the back print without the without the sword holders there. There's a better look at the front. There's a better look at the figure without the without the ten year anniversary stand. Alright, on to the Titan Battle Mech. This thing is pretty big. <laughs> let's see, let's bring it a bit closer. Let's like put it right here. Let's see, there's the front of it. There's the side. Oh boy. Eh. 
There's the back of it. And here's the other side as well. Now, of course, the main thing to note about this set is that you do, of course, have the posable legs. You have the posable legs, you have the posable feet. And in addition to that, you have posable knees as well. Mm -hmm. You've got one for both legs. It's it's something that it's something that's really over overdue for for all of the Lego mechs. And then it's good that we finally got it. Same thing goes for this leg as well. Posable there too. Now I don't I don't know whether like sturdiness or balance or is the right word or something else, but but I think I would say that this set is pretty balanced. Like like it can lean forward pretty far and it and it won't fall. But. <laughs> like them for display. You, you can have the do the smooth criminal if you want to. Oh, there we go. Eh. Eh. But there it is, do doing the smooth criminal. That so, so that's neat. Of course, you also have posable arms as well. Yeah. And, and you've got elbows on the arms, which is something you don't really see in Lego Max very much either. You can you can rotate the hand. And of course, you have uh, foldable fingers. And on this hand, you have a blade which can, uh, you have a blade which can rotate out. Uh, Dang it. <clears throat> a blade can rotate, hold up a minute. Yeah, so you can have the blade rotate like this, it can be concealed, then boom, it's out and it's ready to chop up bad guys. And you've got the same thing for the other arm as well. You can bend it out like so, you can bend it forward. You have you have the rotatable hand with the with the bendable fingers and thumb. And you have a spinning saw blade on this side, so you can chop up bad guys even more. Now, here's the cockpit, and to get better access, you just have to take the head here, 
and lift it back like so. Then there's the inside of it, which is where Zane sits. Then you also have two shoulder mounted spring loaded shooters here, which can also be um, adjusted. And then, of course, to fire those, you know how those work. Just press the end here, and out they go. And then, of course, you always get a spare one here. So, so that just in case you lose one, you have, you, you have a spare one to replace it. And then also there's some stuff back here with, with a couple of clips on them. Those you can use to hold Zane's weapons well, um, so that you can set him down easier. Or, or, or that they're not like lying around taking up space on your shelves. Which is nice. Not enough LEGO sets have that. And, it, and it's kind of bothersome that, <laughs> that it's like that. So, uh, that is about everything for the LEGO Ninjago Zane's Titan Battle Mech set here. Uh, this set is pretty good, the build is very good, it's, it's a very detailed build, less accurate to the original version like all the others have been. Uh, um, you get, get some nice figures, you have a nice 10 year anniversary J here set. Uh, the price is good, $60 for 840 pieces. That's like a pretty good price per part ratio, in my opinion. A piece of advice I have for handling this set is never try and, and, and handle it with one hand, because that could be very bad for you. So anyways, that was my review of the LEGO Ninjago Zane's Titan Battle Mech set. I, I hope you liked that review, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to, to my channel, and ring the notification bell for new videos. Thank you, bye!